Hi. Welcome to episode nine. Steve, my car, and I. Or alternate title. It's episode one of hanging at Mr. Jablowski's house. Yeah, that that would be all right, actually. Or you ever watch that show, uh, Hanging with Mr. Cooper? No. It was the uh, okay. Well, it was this old show in like the late nineties. But um, yeah, so that's this one. That is this one. So we're hanging at my place. We got. Uh... <laughs> this is just what happens here. There's a sign on the door that says, "Silly hats encouraged." Definitely. I have a hat wall, actually. You saw it earlier. It's it's a good hat wall. I have I, yes, an abundance good. of hats. I also realize I have an abundance of toques too. Oh yeah, hey. I have so many toques. I only wear I only wear black ones. You only wear black toques. Where's the fun in that? It's not for fun. I guess it's just the cold. Um, <laughs> yeah. When, when was the last time we recorded something? It's gotta be like a month and a half ago or so. Ah, maybe two months even. I don't know. Can you judge by my beard? It's been maybe. Well, well, you can probably judge by mine. I don't think I had one in the last one. You didn't. I don't think. Have. Yeah. So it's it has been a while. It has been too long. Too long. Oh, too long. Those are always good. Oh, also today is a cause for celebration. Oh, really? What is this? Bill Cosby is in jail. Oh. They sentenced him today, three to ten years. Three to ten years. That's a big gap. He's 81. True enough. So he's basically done. Yeah. He will probably die in prison. (laughs) One can only hope. (laughs) The jokes that will come out of that after, if it happens. I'm sure the jokes that are going on right now. I can't think of any right now. Well, he's he's just a scumbag. Certainly. I wonder if he'll be doing, like, stand-up in prison. You know, because, like, the people who are also in there are also mostly shitty people. True enough. What would his bit be? Like, so, back in the day... They, well, no, they're probably just going to be asking him for drugs all the true time. Enough. He's like, you're giving them away for free to those other people. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> What a horrible, horrible human being. Oh, I almost ran over this person on a bike today. Well, I was driving... Okay, so I'm just driving down the road, and there's these couple of people, and they're, like, slowly going. They're not really sure what they're doing. And I'm already going, like, max. And, of course, like, there's a stupid sign that... Yeah, but four bikes, typically. Right? But I'm already going fast, and they just roll up as I'm, like, just getting to the corner. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to slam on my brakes for these people who are going super slow on their bikes. They can wait for me to go past. And so I kind of have to, like, instead of slamming on my brakes, I swerve around, because there's no other cars. And the guy starts yelling and swearing at me. I'm like, just because there's a sign doesn't mean cars aren't going fast. Yeah. It's like, yeah, get over yeah. yourself. Like, if I would have seen you from further back and you didn't just pop around the corner, then mm-hmm. I would have had time to slow down. I'm not going to slam on my brakes, risk a car accident, just because you are having a friggin' lazy stroll on your bike. Yeah, exactly. That's the one thing. That, it's kind of like when you're going to walk across the street. I always look both ways, blah, blah, blah. If somebody is not slowing down, I'm not just going to be like, well, I'm the pedestrian. Time to walk down the street. Exactly. No. Cars have the right of way always. Except yeah. for like at, at corners. Crosswalk. Yeah. Yeah, at crosswalks. At proper so. crosswalks. Designated pedestrian crossways. But even at those pedestrian crosswalks, I still give the right of way to cars because you never they're, know yeah, who's paying attention or anything. Bigger than me. I don't want to die. Mm-hmm. It's not I'm not gonna just die for my principles of crosswalk etiquette. Just because of whatever. No, exactly. I'm always looking at the person driving. Maybe it creeps them out sometimes, because I do flash in the, you know, what's up? You know what we really need in this city? A giant Slurpee store. All all flavors of Slurpees? Yes. Of course. This is what my younger brother has this idea. 
Uh, he was like, he. I guess he saw it at like a gas station in Texas when he was down there. Of course, it'd be in Texas. Yeah, and he said he walked in and it was just like a wall, just filled with as many Slurpee flavors as you can think of, and they just had everything, like chocolate Slurpees. They had milk Slurpees. Yeah, like everything, man. Isn't that just like iced milk? I guess a milkshake, basically. Yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, a milkshake. Just everything, you know, you just get your poop flavors, your day old yogurt. This is my favorite. This is my it's just, favorite kind they of just yogurt. literally put those things with ice and then just. <laughs> What's going bad this week? Ramen. Ramen Slurpee. Uh, you know how gross that would be? Oh, that'd be disgusting. It'd be so salty. <laughs> and, like, it would be, like, I wonder if they would put the noodles in there too. Oh, you'd have to. You'd. You'd have to. If you're going to do it, you might as well do it. It's just like those uh, Harry Potter jelly bean things. Oh, God. Those are... Oh, man. Those are so much fun. Yeah, exactly. You it's hunt. fun. Yeah. It's, it's gross. You're don't, not going to eat them. <laughs> no. Really, but you'll try them. Oh, for sure. Like, the rotten egg one's so bad. Oh, earwax is actually kind of gross. Dirt, surprisingly, isn't bad. I actually ate the dirt one one time, and I'm like... Well, I've eaten dirt before. I, I yeah. certainly have as well. <laughs> yeah. It's like kind of the key ingredient to a good carrot. Oh, yeah. Right? Dirty carrot yeah, from the dirty. garden. <laughs> dirty <laughs> carrots. That, that should be like a ah. punk band. Ah. The Dirty Carrots. Oh, God, that'd be great. Just sing about vegetable garden. And it's Everything. Uh, dirty, dirty carrot and the green thumbs. Something like that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hit track, my tomatoes are rotten. <laughs> I feel like with this, we should start adding in like little segments to this. Like, like when we're editing it? Like, yeah. Put things? Like, even if it's like we're going to cut away to whatever this is. Everybody. Our idea of the punk band. Like, just right. you and I. We need to get like. All colors of morph suits. If we're gonna do that, because like, you know, it would be a very. This is a brilliant idea. (laughs) Our podcast will be a sketch show that we cut away. Perfect. You heard it here. You know what? We're starting a new podcast. We are. Like I'm sure the hundreds and hundreds of seconds of this one that have been watched. By the we have at least literally points. dozens of people have seen this already. <laughs> <laughs> but let's, I think that'd be fine. You know, so yeah, then, I'd be totally alright. We just do little videos. My and brain just... works in a series of sketches every single day. Okay, well, we're gonna leave this one as a Steve, my car, and I for sure. It's yeah. we're starting a new podcast yeah. alongside this, and then we can just keep this one where we just talk. And it's just yeah, whatever, this you know? could be like our idea making process. We could film just our bloody idea making process because we already it's funny enough. Yes, I could change the title of this to Steve, my friends, and I because the car. We were going to do it in the car, but it was late at night, so you couldn't really see anything. Yeah. We'd have to have your interior lights on all the time, and then drain the battery, and things right. are bad. And yeah. You'd have to put things to my nipples for all I can jump and start your car. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to not do it in the car sometimes. So, you know, I just don't like <laughs> a that. small, uncomfortable place. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I... like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't like limiting myself, you know? <laughs> I don't like putting labels yeah. on things. Labels. Like, literally, when I worked retail, I hated putting labels on things. It was just tedious. It was. I remember <laughs> I remember that, too. Getting in new stuff, and you're like, oh, sweet, all this new product. Oh, that's right, I gotta label it and hard tag it. And then put it in the computer. Speaking of labels, how, I, always find, I always find it funny. Like the dirty carrots? Oh, I just find it funny the people who don't want to be conformists. But they still want their super specific identity. And it's like, don't label me, bro. But I'm like a cisgendered, whatever, whatever, super specific. It's like, yeah. that's the label. I'm yeah. pretty, like, 
Like, that's a I label, know. you know that, right? I just, you know, don't get angry if I just look at you and be like, what's up, dude? Yeah. Don't tell me you're a triceratops cross <laughs> velociraptor feeling like a bird today. <laughs> <laughs> Dino fluid. <laughs> well, I can go bad in a lot of ways. Dino fluid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, that's the title of this episode. Dino, Dino fluid. fluid. Yeah. I actually thought like of this. Dino fluid identity. I actually thought of this really great, great song that we could probably use in one of our skits for the punk band idea. It's a great. I'm not even gonna. I'm gonna tell you after this turns off, so then you know, but you don't know, but he knows, but when he watches it, he won't know. He'll look at it and be like, "What the fuck are they talking about?" Oh wait, I do know because I was there, but you're not. You're technically here. Okay. <laughs> I tried following that for as long as I could, and I gave up. <laughs> it all makes sense. Yeah. No, I like the idea of starting things and not finishing them, too. I always like that. Because <laughs> I'm really good at it. I've gotten so <laughs> yeah, good at one of my best it. attributes. It's like, you know what's great is when you start something that you know you're not going to finish, but it's a good enough idea that other people just finish it for you. They're like, you have to continue this. And you're like, yeah, yeah but if you do this, you're all right. Yeah, like you just involve enough people and it's a cool enough idea and you just kind of can get it rolling and all of a sudden it does does it on its own yeah. and you don't have to There's really do anything. snowball rolling down the hill. Yeah, I'm an idea man, you know. If I ever work in corporate, it's going to be like, oh, yeah. this is Steve, the idea man. I exactly. wear this hat. He's like, oh, he's wearing his idea hat. And he's like, what's your idea? Everyone should wear these hats. <laughs> great idea. Exactly. It's like, are you sure that's a great idea? Should we even be doing this? Like, it's worked before. Just go with it. <laughs> and then everybody's wearing these hats, and then all of a sudden, these Japanese businessmen come in. And they're like, man, like, we, we love, love your, your hats. We love it. We're gonna do business with you for the next 150 years. And then, bada bing, bada boom, Steve rises to the top of the corporate ladder, much like Homer with. Scorpio technology. Exactly. Exactly <laughs> like that. <laughs> also, funny thing. Elon Musk built that flamethrower. Yes. And then somebody took that picture of him with the flamethrower and then put it beside uh, Hank Scorpio from The Simpsons, mm -hmm. who also had this flamethrower. <laughs> this is like, he is a real life Hank Scorpio. Yeah, he probably saw that episode and was like, I'm going to be that guy. Probably. Yeah. He was the right age for it. Like, he's only a few years older than us. I know. What the hell are we doing? I don't know. Having we a should lot of fun. Yes, we are, but we should invite him to come out and have some fun too. Like he he grew up in Saskatchewan. Isn't that weird? Where yeah. Like he's from like South Africa. But part of his family's from Saskatchewan, so when he was growing up he'd spend summers on the farm and stuff in Saskatchewan. Southern wow. Saskatchewan, yeah, it's weird. And then he ends up being what he is today. Yeah, one of the biggest influences of modern day thinking. Yeah. Well, it's because he has money. Well, and he has good ideas. Yeah, I've heard a lot of guys with the same ideas. True. But they, everybody's like, oh, you're just stoned, man. Because it's always that one. For, uh, for me, it was this guy, Nick. I don't know if Nick's ever seen this, but if he does one day. I won't say his last name. Nick. <laughs> Nick. You all know. <laughs> There's this guy, a good friend of our group in my like, college. But he would just get so baked. And it would always be funny. And he would just have these wacky ideas about like the government and different things. And now looking at it, some of his ideas weren't that far off. <laughs> and I was just like, maybe we should have listened a little closer to our friend Nick. Just the stoners in general. Sometimes they have brilliant ideas. I just hate the, the whole mentality of how they're pushing it. Pushing it, pushing it so much. Like the, the 425 bar from O. Henry. Oh, I, I will never buy that. I won't. I no. refuse to. I won't buy it. I just never buy O. Henry anyway. Yeah, true enough. Ever since that Caddyshack movie when you see it floating. Baby Ruth. Oh, it was a Baby Ruth. Same thing. Yeah, pretty much. But <laughs> every time I think Baby Ruth, I just think a sloth from the Goonies. <laughs> Ruth, baby! <laughs> You know what my favorite one is, though? Which? Bounty bars. Coconut. 
Mm-hmm. That's or, my dad's favorite as well, actually. They don't have them in Canada. Well, some places they do, but they don't have them here. I haven't been able to find them. Almond Joy. It's basically... <laughs> yeah, it's just basically a bounty bar, but with almonds in it as well. My mom used to sing this stupid song about Almond Joys. Anytime you called her a nut bar, she'd sing the Almond Joy song. Do you know Almond, Almond Joy's got nuts, nouns, stone, or some crap like that. It's literally a song describing the two different chocolate bars that this company came out with. Almond Joy and, like, Mounds. They, like, look yeah, the same. Almond, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's this song that my mom would always sing about that. <laughs> One's just a little nuts. Yeah. Something like, I don't know. My mom is just a nut bar. I hope she sees this and sings it. I'm going to make sure she sees this. Well, she's probably happy that her son also became a clown. Yeah. Like, look at these hats we're wearing. You know what this hat reminds me of, though? Which? Either Crocodile Dundee <laughs> or the Rescuers Down Under. I... <laughs> Something to do with Australia. <laughs> so, remember that one picture we took of me at uh, Milestone's Bar and it, I was wearing that hat? Yes. One of my buddies, John Reed, little John Jr., he... He commented, I look like a gay crocodile Dundee in that hat. So it's really funny that you say that hat reminds you of Crocodile Dundee. I like Rescuers Down Under a little bit more. Oh, it's it, so it good. kind of reminds me of that, too. Yeah, I haven't watched that since I was a kid. It'd be trippy running. to watch it again now. It would be. Like, I've seen the original Rescuers more recently, like in the past like five years mm-hmm. or so. I haven't watched Rescues Down Under since I was a kid. Which is strange, because that's like... The better one? It is. It's kind of like saying you've only watched uh, An American Tale. Without being Five Little Goes West. Yeah. Yeah, Five Little Goes West is the best. Exactly. And you're like, oh, I've only seen American Tale a handful of times, but I've seen Five Little Goes West like once. American Tale is so depressing. It is. It's super depressing. Like, why were kids' movies so depressing back then? I know. Bible Goes West brings out all these colors, the lazy eye, everything. <laughs> the, the lazy, lazy eye. eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Man, Bible Goes West was good. It was great. Don Bluth movies were amazing, though. Yeah. Oh. Rock-a-doodle. Yeah. Rock-a-doodle. Yeah. The sun's coming up without him. <laughs> oh, man, my, my favorite of, of them, I'd say, would, would probably be the very first Land Before Time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. Depressing at times. Super depressing. And then depressing afterwards. Yeah. When you find out what happened to the little girl that played, uh, uh, what's her face? A triceratop? Or yeah. Ducky? Ducky. Ducky. What happened to her? She, like, was murdered or something when she yeah, was, like, that's kid. Right. Something like that. I don't know the exact specifics, but I know it's just messed up. It's been a while since I've read about it. That's right. I forgot about that. That is terrible. Man. Why you gotta be downer on that? <laughs> well, it's just <laughs> apparently at the time I didn't know that when yeah. it first came out. Yeah, I'm just gonna go hang myself after this. After I tell you about the punk song that we have to sing, you know what's really hang messed up? <laughs> you know what's really messed up? When you think that Land Before Time got to seven, but she did. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's so funny. And uh, I tip my hat. Like this, Emilio. It reminds me of Tremors. Kevin Bacon. He's always wearing oh, a yeah. cowboy hat. Definitely. I can't wait till they remake that. Are they remaking Tremors? That's what I hear. It's actually going to have Kevin Bacon in it, though. Well, it has to. Yeah. Well, that's the only way they're going to get people out to go see it. No, exactly. Uh, or unless they did like a Netflix remake and they just had whoever in it. But if they have Kevin Bacon, people will go see it. Just like they should remake. I think there's a lot of good horror movies that they should remake. Yeah. Or like just not suspense. heavy on the CGI and the j- crappy jump scares and stuff. Like really make it like an old like House of a Thousand Corpses style movie. Yeah. Like with all of the the goopy plastic and everything. Like or like, the Kevin Bacon movie Hollow Man. Yes. Like with the new was... technology that we have for computer generated. See that was, uh, making people invisible using CGI. I'm totally fine with that. Totally. Right. You know, they did it. Brad Pitt, he was the invisible guy in Deadpool 2. I haven't seen it yet. Sorry. 
Is it? Is that like a main? No, not at all. It? Nothing. <laughs> no, it's you fine. Fine. <laughs> I am not. I am not. I do it's, need to watch that movie though. I fantastic. love the first one. Oh man, the first one was a, a beautiful, it's beautiful so masterpiece. It's fucking, it's so good. God. It's so good. Like the wall breaks he does, even and it is even more amazing. He really, he really just like. Uh, this wall doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Bye. Hello! Yeah. This movie is directed for you. Yeah. You right there. Somehow I know your name. I'm going to tell you halfway through the movie. Yeah. Exactly. No, I know. The first one, just from start to finish, I was dying. Well, it yeah. was just perfect. Because huh. he just went and he's like, no, this is how we're doing it. And then he just makes fun of everything, and makes everything. fun of Green Lantern. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> makes fun of the first X Men where they had Deadpool in it. Yeah, he takes it even. I think he does all that within like the first minute of the movie. Story. He does. <laughs> well, even in the credits rolling, it's yeah. like directed by some asshat, <laughs> yeah. and it's him. He was the director. <laughs> yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, exactly. Man. I gotta watch Deadpool 2. That's on my list. Oh, yeah. it's one of the problems. I never write down my list, though. That's the problem. Yeah. I just know that when I see we something, should just like, go I see it. to Leo's one of these days and pick it up. Oh yeah, Leo. We have a rental, a video rental place just up the store, up the street. Up, up the, the store. Street. Up the store. Just up the it, store. Well, if you were standing at the store block, it is kind of just up the store a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it is. Because it is sure. a little mid strip mall. Uh, but up the street, little red video rental place, Leo's. It's amazing. They still have five cent candies. What? Oh, so it's Mac. Oh, no, they're like ten cents. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Well, Leo must be living in the past, and I like that. I do, too. They have popcorn that they make there. Every time you walk in there, every once in a while, they're popping the popcorn, you just hear it, and you smell it, and you're like, Popcorn! My mom's favorite vegetable. <laughs> well, technically, it is a vegetable. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I never thought of it that way, though. <laughs> just like have your like dinner plate, and you just have like a side of popcorn, steak and then popcorn. <laughs> exactly. I would love that. <laughs> it just would never be enough. You could never fit enough on a plate well, you for have it to be a worth bowl. it. Bowl. That like a soup bowl. A soup I don't. Bowl of popcorn. I rarely get popcorn at the movie theaters. I do that not because I don't like popcorn at the movie theaters. I love popcorn at the movie theaters. But I love it to the point of, like... Oh, I eat way too much. Yeah. Like, I will fucking destroy. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. end of the beginning credits, halfway through it. And I'm oh, like, yeah. It's... <sighs> my hands are still buttery. And, <laughs> yeah. My my lips never get chapped, but they do I'll when I get stuck in my teeth yeah. and throw back and like, <laughs> Yeah, shoot a breath, eyes. Oh. I do, however, I haven't done it in a while, but I should. Kernels. Kernels popcorn, man. That used to be my fucking crutch when I was little. Oh man. You like you made a crutch out of the tin? Yeah, I did. I did. I like walked <laughs> up and I was like, please, sir, can I have some more kernels? He's like, I'm sorry. You look like you've eaten far too much. You've made an entire crutch out of the bags that you've bought. And, and like, these are paper thin bags, so I don't know how it's even supporting you, but you shouldn't have any more kernels popcorn. Yeah. Oh, man. Popcorn is good. Now I kind of want some popcorn. So do I. I also want to go see a movie soon. I haven't been to a movie in a while. New Predator's out right now. Venom's coming out. I know. This weekend. What? I think so. Hmm. Might we be should, something to check yeah. out. You know, the first uh, Deadpool I saw in Vancouver, there's this movie theater that you can drink at. Oh, yeah. So I was super stoked. So we, we licensed, went. Yeah. yeah, licensed. No kids. Yeah. Even though they shouldn't be, there shouldn't be any kids at Deadpool anyway. But, you know, like, I saw The Jungle Book there, too. No kids. It was fuck. It, it, bah, it was great. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no kids. Yeah, kids do. And I, they can. They really can. Like I'm sorry, people who have children. Yeah, you shouldn't have had children. <laughs> well, I'm not afraid to say that. <laughs> um, there is a lot of people on this planet, and there are a lot of homeless kids. Yeah, we got to get rid of those ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that movie where they just keep that one certain age? 
Oh, Logan's Run? Yeah. Where they get, we get to, or what is it, you get to age 30 and they kill it, kill everybody? 30? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, so everybody's So young. next year I would die. Well, that could happen. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> the way you live. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even, I'm thinking about not even buying a season pass for Big White this year and just my buddy Sam and Trading I were, it away. What? <laughs> no. No, not even. Something even crazier. Oh, what? <laughs> we're just going to go split a sled, perhaps, and use it to get up to this place that I just went camping over the weekend and turn it into Oh, you want to die then, eh? Oh, of course. Okay. <laughs> of course. I thought you were going to say, like, we're not going to spend our money on that. We're just going to go buy a bunch of alcohol and drink ourselves to death. <laughs> no. No, I don't want to get buried by snow and die. I thought you were going to pull a Nick Cage leaving Las Vegas. No. Have you ever watched that? I think I have. I'd rather go with a, a basket full of bees in my head. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. But uh, leaving Las Vegas is actually a really, really, really good movie. It's like, Nick Cage has movies where he sucks, and then he plays the exact same character in a different movie, and all of a sudden it clicks, mm -hmm. and Leaving Las Vegas is one of those where it's just like, bam, bam, bam. So <laughs> good. So dark, but so good. I watched it at like five, I started at like five in the morning one night after drinking all night with friends in like college, and then I went to my room and I was like still awake. I was like, oh, I should put on a movie, because we would be up till like... Eight or nine every morning. Anyway, I work nights in a kitchen, so I was like up. So I put in leaving Las Vegas after a night of drinking, and the whole movie's about him being in Las Vegas drinking himself to death, like on purpose. Huh? And it seems like a beautiful movie that Nick Cage would be in. It's really good. It's really, really well done. I think it won some awards. Probably. That's how Nick Cage movies go. Either they like are worth making fun of, mm -hmm. or they do really well when he gets awards for them. Like The Rock, great movie. Yeah. Uh, Con Air, great movie. Lord of War. Lord of War. A bad lieutenant was awesome as yeah. well. <laughs> when he goes into the old folks home and he's just like <laughs> shaking down that old lady. Oh man. Uh, Ghost Rider. Actually, the first one wasn't bad. It was okay. Yeah. It wasn't. Horrible. No, it wasn't. It was worth watching. Yeah. Plus, they had like the crazy like. And Ghost Rider was just film. yeah. Ghost Rider is a really great character. Anyway. Um. And he did it sort of justice. And then you got the National Treasure movies. Yeah. They're fun. They are. The first one's actually pretty clever. Yeah. In a lot the of first ways. one's good. Yeah. Like, you know, it was a family family yeah, adventure. Ones, yeah. And. You learn a lot. Yeah. Educational. Exactly. You learn how to be skeptical <laughs> about things. Yeah, you learn that, you, who <laughs> knows, maybe my crazy uncle talking about the Freemasons all the time was right. Yeah, exactly. Maybe it was, it was a bad idea. You ever look at a dollar bill on weed? <laughs> no, because I spent it on weed. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So podcast, that's what we're going to do. Podcast, skit version of it all. So we just started... Claymation. Claymation would be fun. Claymation. I was actually... You know what? I've done animation before. And stop motion animation is super fun. It's just very tedious. Oh, fuck it is. And you need the right kind of like... Program... On a computer, I don't even have a computer. I just use my phone for everything, so I'd have to figure that out. But it would be fun to do some stop motion. We can even just do, do some of our phones quite easily. Yeah. Record, stop, record, stop, record, stop, record. Oh, stop, you just record. take pictures. Oh yeah, just take. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little easier than stop and record, stop, uh -huh. record. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? My God! You're, you're thinking back to like old uh, VHS recorder yeah, cameras. My <laughs> brother and I used to make stop motion that way. It was hilarious. You're a little, a little behind, but you still go to Leo's, still renting your videos. Oh yeah. I was angry when they stopped renting VHSs. They table flipped. What is it? Oh man! One thing we gotta do. I wish they had it here. 
They might have it here. But there's a place in Regina called Replay Games. And what it is... I know exactly what it is. They yeah. have one in Winnipeg. Yeah, where it, it's all the old systems, mm -hmm. every game you can think of, and you just book out the room or whatever, the, the time, and you go in there and you can play any console, any game, whatever, for whatever amount of time that you book out. That's awesome. I was over at EB Games the other day. And? And I saw this new thing they're making. It's literally a Sega Genesis, but with like all modern hookups. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, they've seen those. Yeah. They, have, they have Sega, they have Super Nintendo, they have, a, they brought back a lot of them, man. It's this nostalgia thing. Well, where, yeah, they're really great. What they, I, what they think they didn't count on when they first made these systems is how much people were going to love the games. You know, they're just doing it because it's like games try to be mm -hmm. new and stay, try to keep up to date. And then what happens is they end up creating these games that no matter how good graphics get, it just doesn't matter about the graphics anymore because the games were so good. Oh, yeah. Like the original Mario. You can't beat the original. Well, you can literally beat it, but you can't find it. Like, it's so good mm -hmm. on its own. Oh, yeah, exactly. It's kind of like this one game that I used to play. I never beat it when and when I was younger. I beat it after I got older. It's called Subterranea. Such a wicked game. It was impossible. My dad used to play the crap out of that game. He beat it, finally. Mm -hmm. I remember so many times walking downstairs at, like, 3 in the morning. He's in front of the TV, like playing Subterranea. My dad bought his own special controller for it too with like a joystick and like multiple buttons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we weren't allowed to use it. We can only use the regular controller. Dude, real quick plug before this cuts off. Because I know it's going to cut off in like 25 seconds. But we will continue this possibly. But the real... Archive.org Apparently they have a bunch of old game emulators on Archive.org that you can play for free. Cool. So that's my plug for this episode. All right, my plug is. You can't see it. it. I was holding up a plug. <laughs> you tried. <laughs>